The Quran says in Surah Jura chapter number 14 and verse number 6 that whenever you get information, you check it up before you pass it on to the third person. Unfortunately, almost all of the media throughout the world, they do not follow this guidance given in the Torah's Quran. And this is exactly what happened just recently when an article came in most of the Indian newspapers, headlines, as well as the news channels, that I was responsible for inspiring one of the terrorists of the attack in Dhaka in Bangladesh. I inspired him to do this act of killing innocent human beings. I did a little research and I had to find out what was the story behind this. And when I spoke to the Bangladeshi official government people, they told me that they do not believe that I inspired this Bangladeshi terrorist to do this act of killing innocent people. That's a different issue that yes, he was my fan. And there are millions of fans of mine throughout the world. And particularly in Bangladesh, Alhamdulillah, more than 90% know me and more than 50% are my fans. So he may have been my fan, but to say that I inspired him to kill innocent human beings is devilish. But this story occurred the first time in one of the leading newspapers of Bangladesh, the Daily Star. And what they did to sensationalize it, when they knew he was my fan, they went on to say that Dr. Zakir Naik, an Islamic preacher, he inspired the terrorist to do this act of killing innocent people, which is devilish. And this was picked up by the Indian media without verifying it. I challenge any of the media, whether it be the newspaper or from the channels, to show me any official source from the Bangladeshi government, which says that they believe that this act was inspired by Dr. Zakir Naik of killing innocent human beings. This paper went to the extent of saying that I am banned in many countries, including Malaysia. The only country that I am aware of where I am officially, I was banned once from entering was UK. I don't have any proof that any country has banned me officially. And Malaysia banning me, it is illogical because this paper doesn't know, neither does the Indian press knows. If they had done little research, they would have realized that less than three years back, in 2013, I got the Toko Mal Hijri Award, which is the highest award of Malaysia, which is given every year to a Malaysian and once in a blue moon to a foreigner. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the last 25 years, I was the fourth foreigner who got this award. And this award was given to me by the King of Malaysia and the Prime Minister of Malaysia. And since I've been awarded the highest award, do you think that they gave an award to a person who promotes terrorism? Do you think the Malaysian intelligence is so stupid? And this paper said it and the Indian news media picked it up without verifying it. And just for the information, I was there in Malaysia just hardly less than three months back in April, I had an official lecture tour to Malaysia. I was called by the chief minister of Tarangano and I gave a lecture. Yes, there were some Hindu organization by the name of Hindraf who objected and said that I should not be allowed to give speeches. I should be banned. And there was a strong reaction from the Muslim community. All the Muslims of Malaysia gathered together and they disagreed with it. So much so that in a span of four days, I met 14 ministers from this country, Malaysia. I met the Prime Minister, I met the Deputy Prime Minister, Home Minister, Religious Minister, Sports Minister, Education Minister, Telecommunication Minister, on and on. In four days. Never in my life have I met more than 15 ministers in a span of four days. Alhamdulillah, my fan flowing in Malaysia is also very high. Just because one Hindu organization does not want me to come to Malaysia, that does not mean that the Malaysian government banned me. So this 
newspaper in Bangladesh, the Daily Star, says something which is unauthentic. From where did they get this? I don't know. Maybe from some website of some fanatic organization. And they give it in the newspaper and the Indian media picks it up and most of the news channels. Many of the newspapers give the headlines. The Dr. Zakir Naik is banned in many countries, including Malaysia, which is absolutely wrong.